Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Valerie Kime, in case any of you guys are new here. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you really enjoy this video because I always look forward to making it. Today I'm going to be going to a place called the 1710 Market. It's an outdoor market. <laughs> um, basically it has like a lot of shop, a lot of local vendors and shops there of like locally handmade things kind of and it's usually a really fun time. I'm meeting my sister-in-laws and my, I think my mother-in-law and just some family and we're gonna go hang out there. So it's gonna be a fun ladies day. And I've done one of these videos before. They had this 1710 market, I can't remember, quite remember when it was, but I think they have it twice a year because I know it hasn't been a year since I went to the last one. But the plan is I'm going to go and hopefully be able to find some really nice finds and then I'm gonna come back show you guys what I got and give the local shops a little shout out. It's just something really fun to do. There's usually a lot of cool things there. And if you're not sure what the 1710 market is exactly, I'll talk about a little bit about that more when I go at the end of this video, when I go over what I got. But I don't wanna repeat myself too much because I know I talked about it in my last 1710 market vlog. So it's gonna be a nice day. It's the sun starting to peek through the clouds and I'm getting ready to go here in about 10 minutes. So it's gonna be a pretty chill day and we'll just see what, see how it goes. So it is a completely different day from when I went to the 1710 market, but I am gonna insert this little clip because this is the outfit I wore to the 1710 market and I have really been loving it and I wanted to try to wear it as much as I can before I get too big. I'm gonna link it below for you guys. It is from actually Amazon. I have really liked it. It's got, you know, adjustable holes right here for the buttons. It's got two pockets here and yeah, you can obviously adjust the length. I do have it on the lowest hole right now for the button and I am like five six I think so and it comes below my knees when I do that. I have been really enjoying this and I want to try to wear it as much as I can. And here is a little bump update. I am currently four months pregnant but I was a little shy of that at the time of going to the 1710 market but just thought I would show this to you guys real quick. Parking is seriously always the problem here. I never know where to park, and even if I did know where, there's no parking spots. All right, now that we got our parking spot, let's head in. All right, so I didn't get as much filmed in there as what I would have wanted, but that is always such a fun time going to the market. And, but right now we're actually, we just finished there, got myself some amazing strawberry lemonade from one of the food trucks. And now me and my in-laws are gonna go up here to the Wall House coffee shop and we're gonna get lunch. So it should be a fun time. All right guys, we are back from the 1710 market. And I'm about to show you all what I got. And I'm just gonna tell you, I didn't get a lot of stuff, but the stuff I did get, I'm very excited about. Before I get into it, I wanted to just tell you real quick a little bit about the 1710 Market. They are focused on helping local businesses get their name out there and stuff like that. And the name 1710 came comes from Luke 1710, I believe. And it says, so you also, when you have done all that you were commanded, say, we are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. So it's basically helping, um, geared towards helping those people 
who are having that have their own small shops do the best they can with where they're called to be in life and it's a really great mission it's no ml mlm businesses or anything like that it's all like locally handmade unique stuff one of a kind things which i love and so we're just gonna get right into it i'm gonna show you what i got first thing i have to show you these four little macarons so i don't actually know the lady the company that made them but the lady Valerie Coons that does the flower and grace cookbook I know it's her sister and she was selling these macarons macar yeah macarons at the same table as the flower and grace um, cookbooks were at so I'm kind of guessing it was all together I tried to find a business card but I couldn't see one in case I'm not sure if they have one or not but I didn't try one of these yet so I'm gonna try them right now I don't remember what kinds there were but we're just gonna see this is so good. Kind of tastes lemony, but yet I almost feel like it could be vanilla, but I'm pretty sure it's lemon. It's definitely lemon. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing if it's wrong. Those are so yummy. Okay, the next thing that I got, so stinking cute. I got this teeny, teeny, tiny leather journal. It's kind of, it looks brown in the camera, but it's actually like a really dusty pink, light pink color. It's so cute and it's so nice to have little stuff like this in my purse, I love having like a little sketchbook or just something to take notes on in my purse. It works great for that. This is from Origami Mobile. Okay, how do you say mobile? Like the thing that hangs over a baby crib? <laughs> is it mobile? Mobile? I don't really know. Origami Mobiles and Leather Items. They had the coolest little um, baby mobiles. Um, and leather things so 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 cute definitely check them out i will link them below i believe they're on instagram because on their card here it says find to find them on instagram at the forest from us to you super super cute shop i didn't even know that this one existed and i love it the next one i wanted to talk about this shop i didn't actually purchase anything from them but i wanted to keep them in mind and i think i had some footage of this they had the most beautiful macrame framed mirrors so creative they're handmade obviously but i thought if we would end up i don't know what we're having we're like not sure if we're gonna find out yet but if it'd be a girl i would love to get a mirror like this for the nursery so i didn't get anything from them obviously because we don't know what we're having if it would be a girl i decided i'm gonna grab their card so i remember the vendor and maybe i'll get a mirror from them then this is from cj's macrame and it's all so just putting a little plug in there for her. And of course, I had to get some of the flowers from Jeannie's flower truck. Absolutely love these. They smell so good. I'm gonna put them in a vase here and set them on the table. And I apologize if this is another short video, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Lately, I've had ideas and content ideas and stuff, but I just haven't had enough actual content to make like a 15 to 20 minute video it's always like my last one I think was pretty short too so if this one ends up being short just bear with me but I will link all of these small shops in the description box if you'd like to check them out there were so many so many cool places I might link just a few others even though I didn't get anything from them but I might link them anyway for you guys because I feel like you'd really like it anyway that is all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed it even though the video was a little bit shorter and don't forget to check out all of these fun shop, fun shop, fun small shops in the description box. I cannot talk. Don't forget to check out all of these fun small shops in the description box below. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you next week in my video on Wednesday. Bye.